What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a ton to me. Also, uh, if you're new, join the free Facebook group down below so you can, you know, discuss boxing topics with like-minded fans. Also, if you're a boxer as well, you know, we would love to have you inside the Facebook group. But let's get right into it. Lomachenko denies asking for the franchise championship, which is an imaginary title, by the way. He denies uh, asking for the franchise title championship. Also, he throws some shade at Canelo Alvarez and his pound for pound status, uh, pound for pound, pound for pound spot on the pound for pound top ten or whatever. So let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste any of your time. So, uh, first, I'm just gonna go over the Canelo shade, and this is what he said. Lomachenko admitted that he didn't watch the fight and he took surprise at the outcome. Although he thinks age has taken over and it may be time for the 37-year-old Kovalev to call it quits. While he has respect for Canelo, he wonders if the result of the fight was more of a product of a younger and fresher fighter taking advantage of an older fighter who has shown a history of stamina problems. So this is what he says directly. Quote, Lomachenko, this is by Lomachenko. It's not really about money or names here. He has a contract that he has signed. And no matter who he fights, he has a fixed sum. The question is if they use correct techniques to approach for him and to choose such interesting opponents for him. They seem to have names, but they aren't on the level or at the peak like they used to be. He didn't try it two years ago when Kovalev was at the peak of his form. Now he hasn't agreed to box Bivol or Bedebiev. He chose Sergey, a boxer who has already shown his full potential. So Lomachenko throws some shade Canelo's way about him versus uh, Kovalev and how he won that fight. A lot of people say that the fight does look fixed. It looks fixed to me. It looks shady as hell. I did not see Kovalev throw not one punch with meaningful intent at all the entire fight. And then recently, if you know, Kovalev came out and basically said, I went into the fight knowing I was going to lose. He basically, all his other stuff, basically confirming what people already thought. But that's his comment. He kind of threw some shade at uh, at Canelo since uh, he was recently, you know, Canelo was recently put as number one pound for pound over him or whatever. And then uh, he's tried to clear things up about becoming the WBC franchise champion in October. And this is exactly what he said. I read an interview with WBC president Mauricio Suleiman. He said we filed a request to be awarded the franchise title. I would like to make it clear I did not file anything and no one asked for it. When I read that, I was very surprised. So he comes out and says this, but Mauricio Suleiman literally came out. Uh, he did an interview with Blue Blood Sports. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports for the interview where he said, Mauricio Suleiman said that his team asked for that title. They asked for that quote unquote franchise champion uh, title. And it's not actually a title. It's just the award kind of but Arisho Suleiman came and said that they did ask for that and that uh basically now it's Mauricio Suleiman's word versus Lomachenko's word but it still doesn't make sense because you have to ask for you have to ask for it to become a franchise champion you can't just get it you have to ask for it so obviously somebody's lying here I'm starting to think it's even if Lomachenko didn't ask for it or there was a misunderstanding, it's still on his team, so it's still his fault. But I don't know. I don't know if he asked for it or not. I'm, I think he did ask for it because it makes no sense. If you wanted to become undisputed, why would you ask for a franchise championship? Why would you even want that? You should have walked away from that, if anything. But he claims he didn't ask for it, which I think is total bullshit. Or his t Someone on his team had to ask for it, and he had to give them the okay to ask for it. But let's go on to the next one. He also throws some shade at Devin Haney, who was his WBC mandatory. Devin Haney had been calling this guy out uh, many times. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just uh, read what he said. Uh, Lomachenko basically said, who is Devin Haney? Who has he defeated? Who has he gained the title? How? He got the belt because I vacated it and it was granted to him. It is not a question. As I said, I'm ready to fight with anyone at at any time and anywhere, it doesn't matter. So he basically threw shade at uh, Devin Haney. 
basically saying that he was gifted the title, but he wouldn't have even gotten a title if, uh, you know, <laughs> he wouldn't have gotten a title if uh, Lomachenko didn't ask to become franchise champion. He could have just fought Devin Haney and, you know, he could have just fought Devin Haney and if Danny Heaven, Devin Haney would have became the champion, he would have became the champion that way. Devin Haney didn't ask to become the WBC championship. He wanted a f- champion. He wanted to fight, you know, uh, Lomachenko. But I'm about to read to you what Devin Haney actually replied to with uh, what he replied with, uh, replied to Lomachenko with. And this is what Devin Haney said. Devin Haney said on Twitter, and you quote unquote gave me the belt. Why? Never asked for the belt. I asked for a fight. And technically you didn't give me the belt because you never asked to be elevated, right? Which is basically like <laughs> trapping Lomachenko in some, it's trapping him in a lie because you, if you gave it to him, that would mean you would have to ask to be elevated. You weren't stripped of it. It was basically given to Devin Haney, even though Devin Haney didn't want it that way. He wanted to fight him. But that's basically it for the video. In this video, obviously, Lomachenko, he threw shade at Canelo. He thinks he's pound for pound number one. And he threw shade at Devin Haney. He, quote unquote, didn't ask to become WBC franchise champion, even though that makes no sense because you have to ask to become the franchise champion. Hopefully he does fight Devin Haney soon. But that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel or you like this video or this video gave you some value, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a boxing fan and you want to talk boxing with more like-minded fans who are a boxing fan as well, the link is in the description below where you can join a free Facebook group to you know discuss boxing with other people who are hardcore boxing fans. But that's basically it for this video. Like I said, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.